Are your iPhone cables suddenly dropping the connection to your PC? Or are your Windows 10 dropping the connection to your iPhone? It's the question about the egg and the hen. I'm going to cut the jokes because you're very annoyed by now. Why does it do that? I'll give you two answers and solution to this problem right now in this video. Solutione numero uno. Avanti into settings. Okay, and from settings you navigate down to photos. In photos you navigate to the very button and where it says transfer to Mac or PC you choose keep originals. And look what happens now after I have chosen the keep originals. Okay. In my explorer I've chosen these files from the um, Apple phone internal storage DCM Apple. You can navigate to that easily and now I press copy and then I got my new folder which I want to place them in and behold, lo and behold, each and every one of those video files now recorded in my sweat are now um, being transferred easily and we are not getting an error message here. Oh, I will hold me up on that, hold me up on that. It says two minutes left. It's in Danish because I am a Dane, but just, we'll just fast forward this. But you will see that it works perfectly now. Ta-da! See? Yay! And everybody's happy. Why? <laughs> and a quick pro tip if you are planning on doing, well, some sort of mini video or whatever of your photos. On your PC computer, head into camera first. Choose formats of the very top. And then choose most compatible. I know this will take up more space on your phone, but it is well worth giving up because if you're planning to make like a wedding video or whatever sort of video you want them to be in the format that your computer understands. Tip number two: head into your app store. From the app store, find this program called Simple Transfer. Okay. In this case I've already downloaded it, but I'm going to open it. By the way, you have to be on your Wi-Fi network to this for this to work, perhaps even also turn on the Bluetooth. Okay, but now it says this is Brian's iPhone and it is waiting for a connection. And that connection I'm going to make right now. So, lo and behold, or not lo and behold, but just behold, right click on your desktop, choose new, choose uh, shortcut. And then you want to name this shortcut something. I'll just pull it down here. And what you want to type in here is this. Simple transfer dot app slash connect. Right. And then you press next. Click to, uh, yeah. You can, you can give this, of course, I could have given it some kind of name. Now it's just called new uh, shortcut in Danish. But what will happen now is that if my PC is on the same network, same uses the same Wi-Fi as my iPhone now, then when I press, can you stand it? Behold, embrace, yeah, you're embracing yourself. So it's Brian's iPhone and when I double click, yeah, it's got all my picture photos now. And now I can freely transfer to my um, computer. Let's try this one, dark room. That's uh, edit, photo editing software. And now I can like pick one or I can pick like more or all of them and you select them up here, also select all. And then when you chose one, you just download them and then they come into zip folder on your computer and you can just unzip them from there and place them wherever you want. So now you've got the correct files transferred fully in, in a formats that you can use on your PC. So. If you enjoyed the content in this video, please give this video a like and consider subscribing. My name is Brian and have a very nice day.